What's up, danglers? So, it is that wonderful time of month where I get to showcase my monthly Super K jigs. So, we're just going to get right into it. First one we got is a swim jig in a quarter ounce weight and the pink elephant color. Chose this guy based off of my success with the rainbow trout swim jig. They seem to be liking those bright pinks. So, we got those awesome bright pink strands coming through this guy with those black flakes, bright white, gray. We got that bright pink head with that awesome clear weed guard, and of course that awesome bait keeper as well. So I think this guy's gonna work beautifully for them river smallies you see me targeting. All right, next up we got a deep swim jig in the three quarter ounce color and three quarter ounce color. I wonder what that would look like three quarter ounce weight in the super gill color so i'm going to be throwing this in my deeper waters uh more specifically we got white lake over here uh even little Schwartzwood. i think this is going to work perfectly for those deeper waters especially with this super gill color I, I don't think you can get any better of a, a replica of a pumpkin seed sunfish i really don't think you can get any better than this love those bright green chartreuse orange black purple blue pumpkin it's nuts it's perfect in my opinion especially for replicating a pumpkin seed sunfish all right next up we got a sparlock in the 3 8 ounce and this is in the bird colored 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 bird all right so we got kind of like a darker greenish type gray color i guess you can say with those beautiful purple flakes running through there and then you got uh, some of those darker purple towards the middle there that's beautiful and because it's sparlock you got that nice sparlock bait keeper right there so that's going to keep that nice and secure that soft plastic whatever soft plastic you're using Bear with me here, guys. It's pretty humid <laughs> where I'm at right now. All right. So that's that. Next up, we got the Seahorse. 3 8 ounce in the purple crawbelly. So I actually have this guy in the, uh, I want to say it's the football head jig version. But this time I got in the Seahorse. So you can see that head's not as wide as a football head it's actually more long than it is wide got that awesome weed guard there and that bait keeper so these guys in my opinion are prettily prettily see i'm telling you it's humid in here <laughs> um are pretty universal i feel like you can kind of work these you can work them as a swim jig you can skip them even you know jig them off the bottom that's why i i think I'm really liking these just because they're pretty universal. Oops. Next up, we got another seahorse. And this is in the three ounce weight and in the invader color. Love this color. It's almost, man, I want to say it's almost like a frog type color. You got those grays with the black flakes. And then you spin around, you got some more greens, some red flakes love that color and again i went with this guy for the same reasons I went with the other one got that awesome bait keeper sweet all right so i saved the best for last this one i really think has the potential of being the next big swim jig this guy this is in the quarter ounce weight not color <laughs> quarter ounce weight and in the imitator color so I actually got this one last month, and unfortunately it was like second cast in, I think I lost it. Um, but the color schemes on this, I think, are going to blow anything I've ever used in the past by Super K Jigs out of the water. So we got those bright white strands in the back with those two, which is three actually, my favorite, one of my favorite things about this are those three pink strands. And then you got those nice bright purples right up front along with that awesome weed guard and that bait keeper. So this one, again, with the, especially with the pink and that white, I think is also going to work beautifully for smallmouth, along with largemouth. Um, so I think what I'm going to do 
instead of my normal slam challenge of trying to catch one fish on every jig I get for this month, I'm just going to go ham with this guy. I'm just going to tie this on, and that's all I'm going to use. I may experiment with different trailers, but that's it. So I'm, I'm basically going to pull one out of one rod, one reels books, and that's all I'm going to do. One rod, one reel, one jig. And we're going to see how many fish I can catch in one day. And how many different species even, uh, especially with the river. You never really know what you're going to lock into. And I think this color scheme in particular is going to be phenomenal for probably a lot of things. Uh, but yeah, so stay tuned for that because that's going to be sick. And I will also be collaborating with the toy chest. Um, if you guys haven't checked it out yet, I have another Instagram and YouTube called Hook, Line, and Pokeball. I've been doing some stuff with Pokemon. I figure the goal is the same between fishing and Pokemon. You gotta catch them all. So with that being said, I may actually take some of the cool toys I got from the toy chest and combine it with this guy and see what we can do. I think that's gonna be pretty cool. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for all that good stuff coming up. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, drop some comments, hit that like button, and me and my jigs will definitely catch you later. Especially this guy. <laughs>